Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Um, a big hello to Dawn who is joining us on Facebook. Hi, it's me, Lizzie. I'm here on my own house today. Morgan's not feeling too good, poor thing. She's got no voice at all. Um, she's a bit poorly, so just me and you guys today. And I actually only have one camera today because the other one is being used for photos. So, um, I am, um, it's just, it's just Leslie hands today, but I'm sure we shall survive. And um, we've got Teresa here on YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. And Laura, hello, hello, hello. Laura says, feel better, Morgan. Yeah, we're sending her all our love. Today, I am thinking I'm going to um, play with the Pasta La Vista stamp set. It's such a different stamp set. It's so sort of whimsical and out there, but I love it. Um, and I thought that I would try to use my gelatos. Now, I do not use these enough. And um, they are fun. And I, we did a video on Friday night where I was watercoloring a whole card. And um, it was only then on Saturday I realized that it didn't actually stream to Happy Doodle. What? Rude. It only streamed to my personal account. So um, I will be downloading that uh, video, even, not maybe, and putting it up on Heffy Doodle so that you guys can see that uh, as well. So let's get started for today. All right, so I'm going to stamp some of these images using Versafine. And I'm gonna add some clear embossing part over the top. That's going to give me some nice, uh, raised up lines to work within. I was in two minds actually. I thought, shall I just color the whole piece of paper first of all and then stamp them on top? Or shall I stamp and emboss them and then color them in? So Randomly, I have just chosen to stamp and color them like this. All right, so we're gonna go for a couple of different types of pasta here. Let's see what we can fit in. Now I am going to be cutting them out of this piece of card. So I'm not too worried about Uh, anything really, we're just going to make sure that they can all fit in, but I'll stamp them uh, far enough apart so that I can die cut them all. Who have we got? We've got Tiffany from Wisconsin. Hey, how you doing? I hope everyone has had a great weekend. Let me know in the comments what you've been up to this weekend. Me, I have been sewing because my daughter is in a theater group and they are doing School of Rock. And I have been drafted in. This is what happens. Um, no matter what, or what Piper is part of or what I'm part of, there's always a, hmm, I hear you are a crafty lady. <laughs> And then you get uh, asked to do whatever, costumes, programs, photographs. It's all good fun, so I don't mind. All right, so I've got my penne on there. We'll have a little bit of a pasta naming competition here. Anybody know what this is? Reason says, oh goodness, yes. <laughs> Laura says, I have been sulking because my football team are suddenly rubbish. Have you been watching, is it the FA Cup? Is that what it is? Craig was trying to tell me. He's been watching that Wrexham football team do its thing. I really 
don't, don't care. No, I'm not playing. I'm like, mm, whatever. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to powder these boys. Excuse me while I powder my nose. Oh no, wait, powder my pasta. Or pasta, if you're that way inclined. <laughs> Hello from Iowa. Hello, Luan. How you doing? We're getting our starchy goodness on today. Pasta is the best though. Yum. I don't get to have it enough anymore because of Piper's tomato and cheese allergy, or tomato and dairy allergies. Sometimes, if we're very lucky and we can find pecorino in the shop, then we're able to have something like a carbonara made with uh, pecorino instead of parmesan. You gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Laura says, yes, the FA Cup. I was chewing for Wrexham too. I love a bit of cup magic. Oh. I don't really do football or soccer for our American pals. Oh, there's a little, there's a little, um, bit of fluff on this. There we go. Get rid of that. And I think we'll do one more squiggly boy. So I think the straight one is penne. Then we've got the little shells, which I think are kashigi. Probably not pronounced in that manner, but nevertheless. Then we have farfalle, which is your bows. And then, what is this twisty one? I can't remember what that is at the moment. Luan is saying, these are cute already. I can't wait to see what you do with them. Yay. All right, let's get the heat tool on the go. Have this guy out from my Friday night watercolor session. And what's good about him is that he's not too noisy. Cavatappi suggests Laura. I don't know if that is true or not. I've never heard that word before. It could be. Leanne is here. Hey, Leanne. I hope you're hungry for pasta. Pasta's the best, though. Nom, 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 nom. So today's card is going to be less about being precise and more about just having fun. Let's check my up close inspection here. I think we've got it. All right, I have a little jug of water, paper towel, paintbrush, and then I also have some gelato. Let's see. Amy says, when's the next stamp release? I was shocked to see so many products being discontinued. Um, the next stamp release is in February. We have been um, with, basically, Royal Mail had a cyber attack where they, some hackers get into their system and they were no longer able to track international parcels. So we have had our design team packages ready to ship. However, we do not want to ship them if we cannot track them. So for a while, um, well, we weren't able to ship them because Royal Mail were like, we're no longer accepting international parcels. 
and uh, we're like okay so we've got boxes through there for our design team but I couldn't do anything about it and um, on Friday we were told that they are getting back on track and everything should be able to send from today so we have uh, some parcels going today however I'm a bit concerned that they're going to get overloaded. So the long story short is that we have been delayed because of Royal Mail. And if my design team don't have the packages, then they can't make projects for the catalogue, for the retailers. They can't make photographs or um, provide photographs of projects for the blog post for sneak peekies. And uh, yeah, so we were expecting it. The start of Feb, but it's probably the end of Feb because we now need to wait until all of the design team got their packages and then give them a couple of weeks to create and don't be scared or worried that there was a lot discontinued what you have to bear in mind is that we've been going for five years and i have avoided uh, retiring products for this long um, and it's something that I have been wanting to do for literally years, but there's quite a lot of work on the back end to make sure that they are listed as a retired product and that there's like pricing in place for retailers um, at a reduced price if they want to sell it as a retired product, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, don't, don't panic. There's nothing to fear. It is simply it was just simply time it's a big project and it's been kind of put off for a little well for a long while we've been meaning to do it for forever so these gelatas are really fun they kind of work a little bit like um paint you can see it's easy to whack it on with a paintbrush Tiffany's here and says, this is the first I've ever joined live with Happy Doodle. Hello and welcome. We tend to have lives on a Friday night. I say Friday night. For me, it's nine o'clock. For you, it's probably more like four or something, depending on where you are. And um, also on Mondays, we're in the office. So during our office time, so it's four for us which is nice, so whatever time that is for you. Uh, feel free to hit the bell and then you can be notified whenever we go live. That's always helpful. And subscribe to us as well. Ooh, this is making me hungry. I really want to have pasta for dinner now. But I don't have pasta for dinner. I have got, what do I have for dinner? Uh, some sort of ground beef thing. I left Piper and, Piper's my daughter, Piper and Craig, hubby, in charge of meal planning yesterday for the week. So we shall see. We shall see what happens. Might just be. Chips and sausages or something all week. <laughs> Laura says, Uncle Google says the fourth pasta is either cavatappi or salentani. Oh, hello. I'm going to call him uh, cavatappi because that is fun to say. All right, so I'm coming in with some of this orangey tone.
just to bring a little bit of depth into some of these areas. Definitely want some darker tones in here. Now the other thing you can do is actually just like squiggle straight on to your project and move the pigment around, that works too. I like having a little bit more control. Great news, everybody. We had the joiners in today, some workmen in today, and they were finishing off the new craft room. We had the delivery of some drawer boxes, and that those were the drawers that my stamps live in. So I'm very excited. That's the only thing I have to do in my crafty room is to put up some artwork and um, also I, I'm probably going to need to order some of those like felt tiles that you put on the wall for soundproofing. Not so much soundproofing but um, for audio because we, we bought a, a brand new microphone that's supposed to be a lot better in quality than what I've got here. So this one is attached to my attached to my t-shirt so it's like a personal mic but whenever Morgan is here we can't use this one because this is only attached to one person so um I got a different microphone that we could both use it sits on the table <laughs> it's um super echoey in the room I am giving this a little splatter with my orange. I think I actually probably need to let it dry. Oh, that's now giving me like pasta sauce vibes. <laughs> I don't know about you. No, maybe I need to have a red one. A red gelato. I definitely say these stamps are so fun. They are fun. Definitely enjoying playing with them. It's been ages since I've played with them, probably not since they've been released. Luan says, Leanne, sorry, says, my daughter loves pasta and she loved these down. <laughs> Yay! They're still one of our most popular, you know. Why are you going to dry? Ooh, so on my, so oh, hold on. Tiffany's saying, what heat tool is that? Oh, good question. Okay, so this is a very, 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 very old heat tool. It is one by Ranger. Uh, it's called a heated craft tool. Um, it looks very nasty <laughs> because I covered it with alcohol inks way back, like 20 years ago. It's also broken about three or four times and I have dismantled and put it back together. Um, it's a low, uh, it's a very low pressure, um, but it's great for melting things like ultra thick embossing powder and things like that. Really fun. All right. But also in my gelatos, I have. Oh, this is actually not the gold one. I thought it was the gold one. Let's forget about that. I'm going to use some um, pearlescent paint to add a little bit of fun to this. So I used these on my live stream on Friday as well. This is some metallic watercolor paint that I got in my stocking from Mr. Santa Claus. And I'm going to add some more splatters on here. And that'll give a nice little splatter of pearlescentness that will catch your eye when you're looking at the card. <laughs> Laura Rumble says, 
the vault was like a list of my favorite dyes. Well, do you know what? Grab them before they go because we're not ordering any more. They are, and um, once they're gone, they're gone. And that's the thing with the vault that we were quite ruthless because honestly, we need space. There's just, I just don't have, I just don't have space anymore. We thought we were doing great. We moved to Scotland. Great, great. Lose more space here. And then we built the garage. Oh, loads of space. And let me tell you, it, it disappears quickly. It really does. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a nice vibrant background. And then we'll put a sentiment in the middle. So <clears throat> what shall we choose? Should we have, I want to pass the time away with you? Or you are the macaroni to my cheese? Anything is pastable. Or you've got holy macaroni, how old are you now? And pasta la vista, baby. Mm, what do you think? What shall we go for? What about you are the macaroni to my cheese in a little love heart? That might work. Or I want to pass the time away with you. It would also fit in the love heart. Mm, let's go for macaroni. Even though, oh, actually, let's not go for macaroni because I haven't included one of the macaroni. <laughs> not that it's overly important. Oh, really saying, I would like to go for macaroni. I mean, I would love to eat some macaroni right now. But let's go for pasta time away. In a little love heart. And we'll go for a nice vibrant background. What do you guys think? Shall we go for maybe like a teal background? Or a bright pink background? I like the idea of a teal background, honestly. I think that would be cute. That would be awesome. I have an idea. What if we uh, ran this through the machine, the Gemini, with a stencil? Maybe a stencil like uh, the polka dot, like the polka? Something like that. Let's see what I can find in my stash. Oh, or the love hearts. Ooh, that could maybe work too. Love is everywhere or let's polka for a background. What do you guys think? I actually think we're gonna go for this one. Let's put this, run this through the Gemini. And um, let's see, actually, shall we do that? Or shall we go for this one? Let's go for the, the, the body. I like the idea of it. So we're going to run this through using the tan mat. If I can figure out the sandwich required. If anyone has the uh, answer to the question, please. Give it a hint, give me a hint. So I'll put down the tan mat, I'll put down my stencil and my card stock. And I can never remember how many shims, etc. I need to put in. We'll try this and then we can run it through again if need be. Oh, 
Well, that didn't work, so we're gonna go again. <laughs> we're gonna go again, guys. More shins. Laura says, I never got great embossing with the stencil in the Gemini. Maybe what I need to do is, um, yeah, that's not working. Maybe my sandwich is wrong. Um, maybe what I need to do is, like, write down what the actual sandwich is. And then write it out on a label and put it on my machine or something. So I have a cheat sheet. That did not work at all. <laughs> Timmy says, I love the colors of it. I think I need to get that heat tool. My embossing tool is so powerful. Yeah, that's sometimes a problem, to be honest. Okay, let's figure this out. This, this in here, because that has to push through the stencil like this. That makes sense in my head. Does that make sense in your head? Hmm. Maybe there's not enough of the mat. Maybe I need something thicker. Okay, that worked. That worked. I was just being silly. Can you see it? That worked. Not very, very deep like an embossing folder would be, but it's definitely got dotties on it. I think what I'll do now is I'll add a little bit of color with some ink. And we'll go for peacock feathers. Peacock feathers living. Oh, did everybody see the new um, distressing color? I can't wait for it. It's like I was so looking forward to a gray that would actually be a proper gray. There it is. Alright, so I'm going to bring in all that dark colour just to the bottom half of this card so that I have a nice, almost like a ombre look I guess. And I think it makes the, the dots pop as well. And that's what happens when you press the button for a fraction too long. A midstream photo. Ching, ching. Love it. All right. Now you know I love some splatters, guys. I'm gonna do it. Um, 
Amy was saying, I saw some great tutorials using the new Distress Ink color. Ooh, I haven't seen any tutorials yet. That would be cool. But definitely, yes, I agree. A nice neutral gray was definitely needed. Amy's been organizing. She says, my metal storage tins come tomorrow to organize my oxide. Amazing. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is going to go to the side to dry for a little second. Are you dry, my friend? Mostly, I think. Let's get die cutting. I've already forgotten the name of this pasta. What was the capus, capus something? I obviously need to write it on my uh, pasta la vista stand <laughs> to remind myself. Okay. Let's, oh yeah, cava. I should remember that, like a cava poo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should remember that. Cava tapi. Cava tapi. Let's get some memo tape on the go and cut out our pasta shells. What are you guys having for your dinner tonight? Does anybody know? Is there anybody out there who's currently, it is actually dinner time? Maybe some of our European friends. I think I'm going to instantly regret asking this because somebody's going to be eating something that I really want to eat, like tacos or something. I'll be like, oh, I want tacos. And Marilla says, funnily enough, my kids will probably want penne pasta. Mm-mm-mm. Well, you should serve it up in an envelope. Just like I'll be doing today. I think this would be a fun Valentine's Day card, don't you think? Oh, Laura's having pasta tonight too. Ravioli. I told you earlier that Piper has uh, tomato allergies and dairy tom um, allergies and before we discovered this her favorite dishes was lasagna and ravioli per kid Suzanne says, great, now I want tacos. I know, I um, was at a restaurant at the weekend, last weekend, and I got um, sweet potato and tamarind tacos. And it was the most delicious thing I have had in such a long time. Yum, 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 yum. It made me very, very happy. Oh. Oh. Alex is having a wee think about life over there in the corner. <laughs> Laura wants tacos now too. Yeah, tacos are awesome. 
I think we should all introduce more tacos to our rotation of meal. Because if you think about it, you could have fish tacos one night, you could have like beef tacos another night, sweet potato and tamarind tacos the next night. Mm. Yummy. So many delicious ways to have a taco. But don't be coming near me with your cilantro. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. I wanted to ask if any of you would be coming to Creativation this year. It's uh, at the end of March, start of April, and it's in Ohio. And Morgan and I will be attending. We are very excited. And presently very unprepared, <laughs> but we'll get there. Suzanne says, I don't like cilantro either. Technically, cilantro doesn't like me. It gives me a migraine, which is just rude because cilantro is in everything that I would otherwise love. Burritos, tacos, enchiladas, all, that, all those fun things. All right, let's grab a rectangular die. I'm gonna go for the skinny imperial rectangle die. And that means that I'll have a panel on the inside which is ever so slightly smaller than an A2. A2, is that right? Yes, panel. And hopefully it doesn't squish my polka dots. Not too much. I think we'll survive with that. Right, this is going to go onto a card blank. And maybe we put some yellow behind here. Or maybe we leave it white. What do you guys think? Yummy. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So we're gonna have our sentiment in the middle here. I'm just trying to figure out what color I want that sentiment to be. And you know, I might go just for white with teal ink. Laura says, oh, do you have a stand at Creativation? Um, no, we don't have a stand, actually. We were looking at having a stand, but, um, oh, that didn't cut properly. Um, we were looking at having a stand, but my, um, there's, I'm, it looks like I'm going to need to have a little, like, operation thing. 
between now and then and honestly I didn't have the bandwidth to uh, do everything essentially. Anyway, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of going on as well at the start of March. We've got a holiday and then it's Craig's 40th birthday, the day before we go to Creativation. So we've got we've got quite a lot happening in our house around about that time. So I decided that it wouldn't be feasible or at least realistic to think that I could pull that off. Okay. Let's pop this down into the corner. I want to pass the time away with you. Eating pasta should be the like in parentheses after that. A little aqua teeny from Catherine Pullo. One more. Amy says, 40 needs to be celebrated. It does. And actually, I'll let you guys in on a little secret, but you have to promise not to tell Craig. <laughs> I have been planning a little secret. Um, thing a little secret project for him so I asked uh, last year you may recall that he took me to New York for my 40th it was a big shindig we were there for nearly a week it's a big affair I had the best time no oh, don't go away please and um I said to him what is it you what do you want to do for your 40th He's like I don't know like, come on, dude, like, let me know. And no, he just, he just doesn't know. He can't, can't make decisions, guys. <laughs> um, so I, I was like, right, I'm going to have to do something. So I have been in secret squirrel mode, trying to make some plans, trying to pull some strings, and... Today was the first day I actually made a booking. So I'm very excited. And that's all I'm going to say because you never know, he might end up listening to this. <laughs> he might end up listening to this uh, live stream or something. Uh, in the same vein, that will mean that there will be um, there will be a Friday night where I am not streaming because I will be in full blown secret squirrel mode, and it's actually in because March is so busy. It's going to be in February that we do that. All right, let's get this stuck down. I'm going to add some foam tape to this. Let's get my big, big mama foam tape out. That's going to go right there. Hey, Berta. How you doing? We're playing with pasta today. Let's 
see if we can lay these down and make them work. Yum. Right, let's grab some bluebird. Get thick in with these. Roberta says, hi, my friend. I have missed you in your life. Aw, thank you. Missed you too. Let's see if we can trim off a little bit of this pasta. And by trimming off some of them, we might be able to have little excess bits to fill some gaps elsewhere. Get my cover tappy down. My pen A number one up here. Amy says she's loving the card. Good. Good, good, good. Although I think it's just made us all really hungry. <laughs> Don't you agree? Oh, hello. My friend who was visiting over New Year taught me a trick for how not to uh, over measure pasta because I have a habit of um, cooking way too much pasta. And so far, this trick has served me well. And she said that for pasta and for rice, you weigh it out in grams, and it's 75 grams per person. Oh, hello. So that's what we've been doing, and actually works like a charm. not as much wastage nowadays, which I'm very happy about. I wanna bust the time away with you. Just need to trim off this little guy. And I think we need couple of sequins or something. What do you guys think? Pull out my tub of sequins. Gems and fun things. 
in fact, rather than using Happy Doodle sequins, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my stash I have here. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. These yellow ones. So good. I think we'll use these. Amy said, I did a chocolate cupcake card yesterday and really wanted chocolate cupcakes. And yeah, that is the, the risk, guys. It is the risk we take with creativity. I'm using the pickup pencil by Styx2. We have these in the store. And they're really good for helping pick up beads and such things. Nommy. Yummy, 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 get pasta in my tummy. Oh, I think I need one right here. Try not to put it on a raised up bit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yum, 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 yum. I am loving it. Let's give you guys a closer look at this card, which I think we're going to call them. I want the past the time away with you. Beautiful, vibrant, I love the teal and the yellow, it really pops. And the little gems give it such a little sparkle. You can't really see the polka dot embossed uh, teal background on camera, but in real life you can. You can see it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can pick it up there. At an angle. You see there down at the bottom beside those two gems? Especially where the ink is at the bottom. It looks cool. Yay! There it is. All done for today. All right, you guys. That's it for today. I'm going to leave you to go and grab your pasta of choice for your dinner because I think we've all agreed that we're all going to have pasta now. <laughs> Please leave us a thumbs up. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. And um, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when we go live. And I shall catch you guys next time. I'll be live on Friday night. Um, and keep an eye out on, for the other video that um, I'll be putting up shortly of my Friday night's watercoloring card. Uh, it turned out so fun. It was amazing. All right, you guys. Ciao. Bye.